Welcome to Movie, Movie Bitches! Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race, Season 5, Episode 1. <laughs> it's going back in time. That's not really how the song goes, but that's okay. Which song? Like the back in time, back to the future oh, oh, song. Oh, okay. Going back in time. It's like almost like that, but not. Burton, Burton, Burton. Back in, in time. Yeah, what is it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Okay. We need Huey Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> first things first, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you ad-free early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties. Of which have been a delight. Yes. I knew she was a clown <laughs> from a job. <laughs> I'm excited to rewatch this season because it is lots of fun. Yes. Oh, I'm having a great time. A great time. It's um, I, I. I uh, You'd think like, oh, it can't be that much of a difference. I must such be. A difference. I'm so sick of Drag Race. I must be sick of Drag Race. No. No. Turns out I'm sick of these producers. In the before time. Yeah, in the before time. I mean, I hate to sound like a crotchety old man like Clint Eastwood. I'm not going to shut up. It's my turn. <laughs> wow, it was so refreshingly fun mm -hmm. and carefree. And I don't know if we can ever get back to that place. I don't know. I hope. We can hope. Second thing second, make sure to subscribe, share, whole. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Letterboxd. I guess technically you could do... I was just going to say, can you review seasons of TV shows on Letterboxd? I don't know about Letterboxd. I know that we can do it on Rotten Tomatoes. And maybe that's fun. Seasons. seasons. You can be like... I think you can seasons. do both seasons and episodes. But I think a whole season is enough for me. That's fine. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we're here yeah. to talk about Alaska... Hi. Jinx. Yes. Relaska talks. Relaska talks. I will say, Alyssa. you know what's funny? Coco. Coco. Jade. Oh. <laughs> Get her, Jade. There's so many iconic moments from the season, but also just in general from the show where they used to have the sizzle reels. And the hashtags. And the hashtags. That's why we do our hashtags. I had forgotten this fact. <laughs> Because it's been so long it's and it's like, so why long. do we do these anymore? But we keep doing them and we kind of do them less and less. But yeah. still, yeah, that was why we were doing them because we thought it was so fun and stupid. Yeah. Did a hashtag, oh no, she better don't. I missed that. Now it's just Rue just saying, hashtag, hashtag RuPaul's Drag Race. And I am disappointed every time. Every time. I think it's going to be... <laughs> Something cheeky fun. So I guess it was back there in my mind that, yeah. that was a thing that used to be fun. It used to be fun, yeah. yeah. But yes, speaking of the sizzle reel yeah. and the montage... Boy, do I miss oh the God. season opener montage of the drama and shenanigans that are to come. Yes. And I can't wait. And no, I don't care that it's, some things might be a little spoiled eh. from the sizzle reel. Because it was that repetitive... Order in the cart room, hunties. As 14 queens prove they can dance. Get the f out of here. Vivian, no one curses like Vivian Penne. Get the f out of here. And I really, really feel like she should get a shout out for that. Good. Are you kidding me? Ugh, get the f out of here. That is so annoying to me. Shut the f up. Anyway, we could go on for days. Yeah. Miss the sizzle reel. The whole season started with it. And I'm just like, Oh, yes. Oh, that moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Our girls start to walk in first into the workroom detox. Yeah. As Queen Bee. I mean, this has become iconic, I think in part because of her photo shoot, mostly. Yes. But still, it was just like, yes. Corseted, circus, bee, um, bitch. Very, very into it. Here for it. Yeah. I love detox. Yeah. We need more queens like Detox, who rides that line between villain but so talented and so funny that you're just like, oop, eep, oop, eep. I've grown to appreciate Fifi's role more, let's oh, say. Oh, yes. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but sh she she was really on one end of it. Oh, yeah. Detox rides that line. I agree. Because she backs it up. She walks the walk, but she also does talk the talk. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what that means, but... I understand. Yeah. And I'm the queen bee, so eat it up and crown it. You're all welcome. She has the receipts. Clever, she has the receipts. Show me the receipts! Next into the workroom, Miss Roxy Andrews coming in in dark mode. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, she brought out Raven, mm -hmm. who entered in dark mode. And Alexis! Can I not say that? <laughs> She's got Judy Garland's Get Happy 
sequined blazer on and her big old purse. And then next we have a Jade Jolie. Get her Jade. I mean, it's, I can't, that's ingrained in my you brain. You need like a get her Jade button. Ooh, I love that. Get her Jade. <laughs> but when you push it, what does it say? Get her Jade? <laughs> no, it just says those shoulders should match, match them hips. hips. <laughs> they don't. It's just like reads. Good. I like that. Famous reads. It cycles through like multiple different. Yeah. That would be great merch for a queen who has multiple, like Bianca Del Rio. Yeah. I'm sure there's a doll that you can pull the oh, string. Oh, I love that. You pull the Bianca string and it just says some sassy. That must exist. Coonty thing. Yeah. Are you in a white snake video? What are you doing over there? I love that. Jade comes in, I mean, as much as I love Jade because she's a real bitch. The aesthetic is not per se mine. I do think we have a slightly different aesthetic. It looks like she took every piece of candy jewelry from Claire's and stuck it done up on that one corset and it's all over her cabbie hat and she has got all the jewelry from Pretty Pretty Princess and it is on every part of her body. Then also with these very patterned leggings and um, it was a lot of things. A lot of all of the things. That seems to be an th edit. 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 That's right. <laughs> oh boy, so the next is Serena Cha Cha. <laughs> Controversial, I guess. I don't know. If you say it like that, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Controversial. <laughs> oh. uh, coming out in this kind of like peach prom dress, lots of frilly foof uh, that becomes problematic later. Oh. Uh oh. Oh dear. I can see your seafood platter. Your paella is showing. Next, Alyssa Edwards. I didn't love this look, this like black and whatever. It was a walk-in look, that's fine. That's but fine. excited for her because I am a big fan. Big fan, her legs look great, her hair is big. Her looks seem hodgepodge. Yeah, and I don't remember, I mean, I guess everyone hated that camera look from All Star. All Stars. That was a, a significant step up from yes. anything on this season. Yes. Let's say that. I also still really loved that look. I thought it was oh, so campy and stupid. I know. I, I everyone, love that everyone look. complained that it wasn't a real look. It wasn't a real reveal or whatever. But I, I liked it. I liked it. But yeah, this is not great. <laughs> no. um, but you know, what are you gonna do? The hair was big. I liked it. Yes. Yeah. Next out, Jinx Monsoon, as if she knew exactly what the, uh, the photo shoot challenge was gonna be. You're splashed. Around. You okay? Just a little tick. Tangled. Comes out in this sort of like 1950s, I'm hanging out at Tim Burton's house in Hamptons beach. Yeah. Lurk. Very that. Very that. Maybe also a nod to her snatch game. It was, it was it a had little a, gray gardensy. A little, little Edie in it. Yeah. Just a, a hair. A little, yeah. <laughs> so the next penetration. We both. Absolutely forgot she was on this season. I feel bad. I feel bad. Um, you know, she was the first out. The first out. There uh... wasn't much time spent with Penetration. <laughs> it is a pretty fun name. Like, I don't know if the name, she lived up to the name. Mm, a little less, it's not quite slutty enough. Maybe, or something. Right, where's like the dominatrix vibes. Something. For penet Penetration to me is like she's going to put on a strap on and peg you. Peg, peggy? Peg, peg. Hmm. Hmm. Some peg bundy. Okay. But also anal. I don't know. Peg booty? <laughs> we can work on that one. Yeah. Uh, we also did not write down her look. Um, this is getting worse and worse all the time. <laughs> I believe it was a dress. It might have had flowers. Okay. She did not have a parasol. That really might have jazzed it up. Oh, okay. She did not. I'm always here for a parasol. You know what? I am generally as well. Mostly camp, if not anything else. And sometimes practical. So next is Vivian Panay in this kind of like Betty Page look. Mm-hmm. In this polka dot bodycon, sort of 1950s, right on the right on the cusp between the 40s and the 50s. I feel like it was it was oh, good. So specific. I liked it a lot. Well, it wasn't the big old, you know voluminous right. skirts of the 50s, but it also wasn't quite the shoulders of the 40s. It was right in the middle there. Anyway, liked it a lot. Great. Yes. And uh, I do enjoy Vivian Panay. I like her a lot. Yeah, yeah. Underrated queen. I agree. So, <laughs> uh, next into the workroom. <laughs> 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 this is so stupid. Hi. 
I mean, this is an iconic uh, entrance. Completely iconic, and no, no one cares. No one it was, was very, um, oh, wow. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. People are not feeling Alaska in this first no, episode. No, it's true, yeah. As she is greatly in the shadow of Sharon at this moment in time. Yes. And they are all sort of over it. They're like, why is she even here? Yeah. It's very strange it, watching it back now and knowing what, you know, where what's to come. the trajectory that Alaska will take. Yeah, she really proves herself. Yes. And that's sort great. of the, she, I feel like she really grows over this season. Sure. And um, we get to revisit uh, that. Yeah, for sure. It's interesting to me, again, this is a reality show and we see what they show us and whatever. But it is interesting to see these little kind of immature mm. outbursts. I guess all I can say is I really want to stay. And I think I deserve to stay. Party. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. in this and in All Stars, right? I'll pick yeah. how you tend that. If things aren't going right or whatever, right. it's right. this really like almost childish outburst. That's her um, kind of her trigger or something. I guess. Her, yeah. Her when, default like, oh no, I've regressed. In the photo shoot and it's like, no, I'm done. I can't. I, can't. I give up. I can't. Uh, uh. I can't get deep enough. I don't know how to do it. I can't do it. I fail. Yes, but this iconic look by Alaska with, of course, the horse face. And while well, we find out later, she's got a few more horse attributes. Oh. <laughs> look at this. The reason she walked in the room with a horse face was because she is a horse. Apparently, allegedly. Allegedly, I wasn't there. I don't know. <laughs> but in this gold and black yes. plastic trash, trash bag, bag dress. It's also, prescient of the upcoming challenge. Jinx had the swimsuit. Of course. She had the trash. Of course, yes. A horse is a horse. Of course, of course. And then next out, Honey Mahogany, yeah. our first queen from San Francisco. That's right. Well, we'll get there. <laughs> Everyone is like, oh, it's RuPaul. Oh my gosh. She comes in with this big white fro and this very disco 70s yeah, very... white femme body sort of okay yeah mm -hmm. 60s mod you know uh, vibe so the next ivy winter in this caution tape very crafty but i see like but i mean that in a the good nice way. way yeah i like the word crafty sure. uh, very, we are crafty bitches we are crafty bitches you know it's very like cindy lopper mm -hmm. and she's got the little fascinator uh caution tape and just Fun Always times. here for a fascinator, also. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So then next, Monica Beverly Hills with a Z. It's with a Z. I'm Monica Beverly Hills with a Z. And this was like she skinned a Muppet, um, but in a good way. It was like she took a bath mat, but the most fun, fabulous bath mat yeah. you've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, and turned it into, you know, much like Jim Henson turned his mother's coat into Kermit the Frog. Right. Iconically. Wow. I thought this was really fun. I, I thought so too. It actually reminds me, when I was sick, was watching, uh, I binged all of Trixie Motel. Ah. Uh, and in one of the episodes, she and Nicole Byer have someone, some guy that's like a, a world-renowned tufter come and they have like a tufting gun, like like carpet tufting? Oh, of course. Of course. And that's like what this was like, where it was like, you know, and there was like little strands of yarn or whatever yes. that were all tufted in different it colors. tapestry -like. It was very textile you know. tapestry and I was really into it. I can't think of tapestries and not think of Last Crusade. Oh, okay, great. The tapestries. Now battle off and tell Baron Brunwald that Lord Clarence MacDonald and his lovely assistant <laughs> are here to view the tapestries. Tapestries? I haven't seen that probably in 20 years. <gasps> really? Yeah, it's probably due for a rewatch. Oh, Should we watch it instead of watching the new one? Oh, uh, oh, oh, yes, please. Because <laughs> four doesn't exist. No. We could maybe do a viewing party and I could just yell at it. Yeah, but like maybe a, I don't want to a talk very about drunk it. one. I don't want to talk no, about I it. I don't want to discuss it. <laughs> I don't want to conversate with it. Just say talk to. I'm not going to conversate with you. I'm not going to invest time. I think it's converse. Huh? Just say talk. I'm not gonna talk to you. Then I am the Mickey Mouse. Remember when he's talking about the tapestries? Anyway. And if you are a Scottish lord, then I am Mickey Mouse. Anyway, yes, that's a possibility of uh, possibilities. Yeah. With horrible, impossible possibility. 
next out, Lanisha Sparks. Yeah. In the, it looks like you know she took Belle's gold dress and took it out for a night on out on the town. Okay, sure. Uh, she yeah. deconstructed it, turned it into a mini a little backlist number, gave herself an updo. 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 She's like, hey, beast, it's Saturday night. I got to get out of this castle. It was very bad. <laughs> she needed a night off. A night out on the town, damn it. And if you're not going to come with me, I will go by myself. He's afraid to go out. People laugh at him. <laughs> but she won't get cold. You know, oh, sure, she has a nice, life, yeah. He can just give really nice. And France does get cold, so, you know, that's true. I forgot that was in France somehow. Yeah. I'm the queen of France. France. <laughs> I'm the queen of France. I am the daughter of the king of France. <laughs> Tell him the daughter of the king of France on serious business. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Anyway. Yes, last time. Of out. course, oh, Alyssa no. Edwards. <laughs> How many more girls? Can this has to be it, right? Yeah, he made it. This has to be it. Can you can you ask if anyone else is coming? Is anyone else here? This has is to be else? all. This has to be it, That's right? That's it. There's no one else coming. No. <gasps> it's Coco Montrees. <gasps> I um, had forgotten and have since hence remembered just how long they how much they string out this drama <laughs> and how often it comes up. Are you taking it personal? I'm joking. Oh, now I'm not joking, bitch. Not mad at it. <laughs> no, it's... but like it's it will be hilarious in like three episodes. Yes, but it's still like I'll tell you when the time is right. <laughs> yeah, let's let's see how many episodes I can drag this storyline out so that I have to stay here yes. to finish telling it. They mm -hmm. want that drama. Mm -hmm. I will make them wait. Smart move. Yeah, you know. But Coco walks in. Yes. Very um, Joan Collins at the end of season one of Dynasty. I've come into the work to the courtroom, the workroom in my suit. Yes! <laughs> uh. Oh, what? <laughs> and now everyone's going to give I'm face for here to tell a tale. <laughs> mm. It was very bad. Luxury trip, courtesy of Al and Chuck dot travel. Al and Chuck dot travel. I miss yeah. it. Yeah. I miss the just obligatorily gay things yes. that used to involve the show. That's the true. show has gotten much less gay. That is probably pretty true. There are moments that are still pretty gay. <laughs> I feel like they've talked about poppers recently. Yes. That oh my gosh. Me wrong, but... A friend came to visit and had never like had poppers, let alone um heard of them or, or I don't know what it was but something happened and she wanted we were out in West Hollywood and she's like oh okay this is making a lot more sense I was like oh she okay yeah 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 she was like I want to I want to try poppers and we're like well we can just go buy some I guess and so we go and she's like what do we do just drink it I was like no 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 do it no <laughs> anyway she took them home with her my lips on the <laughs> yeah right Ooh, no now wouldn't that have changed the Romeo and Juliet story if it was poppers <laughs> Didn't call and left no friendly drop to help me after. Jessica Fletcher would have come by. That they got from a priest. Mm. Yeah. You know. I believe this is amyl nitrate. Mm. <laughs> a broken ampule. If I'm not mistaken, it contained amyl nitrate. <laughs> she comes in to solve <laughs> the, the murder the mystery. mystery of... I okay. I bet my life on it. You see, Friar so and so was a repressed homosexual. That doesn't yeah. mean he was a homo, Miller. Don't. A lot of straight guys like to watch their buddies fuck. They do. No, I do. <laughs> I really like the idea that, like, instead of sassy gay friend, it's the same thing, but it's just <laughs> J.B. Fletcher coming up. by to solve the mysteries of the murders afterward. <laughs> yes, I love that. Yeah. Anyway, right. one we of the old things that I also uh, appreciate is yummy. Oh, I should have worn my yummy beefy daddy shirt uh, for Mike Ruiz. He's, he's yeah, well, in, in spirit, in spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get your own at moviebitches.threadless.com. Yes, you can, and you should. He's gotten sense much more roidy beefy daddy. Allegedly! I mean, that's rude of me. I'm sorry. Less my type now than he was back then. More um, edges. Uh, like hard edges, right? More yeah, cut, cut. <laughs> cut. But Mike Ruiz is here. Yes. Oh, 
for an embarrassing photo shoot. Oh, very exciting stuff. Yeah. They throw them into a water tank like a bunch of drowned rats. Spindly legs. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like an octopus like sucking on the water. So yes, uh, bring back the embarrassing photo shoots. Yeah, bring love them. Back. them. Well, they did. It's gotten less embarrassing. Like I want, they're like, I threw a ball at you. Hit this tennis ball. No. What was it before? It was the giant tic-tac pool or something. That's not that embarrassing. Okay. And then it was the um, the, the spinning wheel. You're, you know, you're on the giant wheel strapped in. That one was decent. Sure. I mean, sure, like bring back the fucking lawnmower in your face. Why not? <laughs> That's what Embarrass them. <laughs> sure. Take them off their pedestal. Yeah. And we are introduced to Jinx's narcolepsy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which the show will dig for any, you know. Oh, show. yeah, yeah. And they'll mi they're mining for any piece of gold out of that thing. Yeah. Jinx, you okay? <sighs> <clears throat> oh, yes, we're back in the workroom. Everyone starts to de-drag. Right. And we find out that Detox has won the photo shoot. Right. Rightly so. This yes. is the only photo I recall from any of the seasons. I mean, <laughs> any any season? Perhaps. Wow. That Maybe. I like, that I like... It was like, it's ingrained in my brain. That like, the true. second she walked in in that look, I was like, oh, that's oh. the look from the photograph where she does that thing with the feet and the... Oh, and that's Water, the... yeah. I got it. Yeah. And she won. I was yeah. like, I was like, all yeah. of the things came. Yeah. I remember, I mean, this is so stupid. I remember where I was. I love it. What I, <laughs> I love it. It was at a bar in WeHo. Watching like live. live? Yeah. <gasps> How fun. It was. Especially because she's a local queen. So yes. everyone was super excited. Ah. Yeah. And I didn't know who she was at the time. I don't think. But then obviously I did. Hence we will put up the obligatory picture that we have of you at Detox right here. Remember at the bar? And she was wearing the onesie. There's photographic evidence. Great, I love it. She's in like a snuggie. Okay. Like a little animal, like oh, because she had changed out of her. Got but you. She still had the full face. Sure, sure, love it. And she was like, "Hey, <laughs> great. I'll find it. It exists. <laughs> great. So, quick commercial break, and we will be right back." <laughs> Yet another thing from seasons past that I miss: day drag. Oh, sure. I, I miss it. Yes. Letting the queens go out in the wild. Yeah, to Robertson a, Boulevard. To, to Robertson Boulevard. To meet Camille... Grammer. Grammer, right. Camille? Cam I think so. Yeah, Camille. Camille Grammer. I love that I remembered her first name and not the last name, which is shared with Kelsey, who is... That's also confusing, though, because... Yeah. Anyway, you know, it doesn't matter. The Real Housewife. Right, of Beverly Hills? I didn't watch it. I, I don't know, but yes. Too. Was she with, like, Lisa Vanderpump? Is I, that where all of that bullshit is? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is she is a real housewife Great. of a city. Great. And she is the ex-wife of Kelsey Grammer. Great. But she says, you can't come into this fancy store. We've been expecting you, oh. but you can come in here. Oh. I don't think we have anything for you. You're obviously in the wrong place. Please leave. You right. have to go around. No, go meet, go meet RuPaul in the VIP entrance and back. Ooh, ooh. And then it was a dumpster. Well, then RuPaul comes out in this Day the Earth Stood Still drag. Sure, yes, that's this true. Hot pink. I didn't know why. I loved it. Yep. Here for it. Yep. <laughs> and everyone has to uh, dumpster dive for fabric. In one minute. That was too much. Too little. I mean, like, it, it was a lot. <laughs> yes. Like, it was... Yeah. <laughs> it needed to calm down. It was yeah. too much. They, yeah. They're, you know, getting in each other's... Yeah, it was seemed dangerous. Yeah. Someone drops a lid on Jinx. It was a whole thing. And it's an unconventional materials challenge. Oh, right. And Alaska... Alaska. ...was wearing, like, a Legionnaire's hat? Right. I think that's what they're called. I'm not sure. But it was... It's it's definitely in the film Legionnaire starring JCVD. I believe he was wearing a hat like that with, like, the little cape in the back. Oh. But then it's, like, a squared hat and, like, a... But I, I liked it because I was like, what's this? Sure. Why are you doing that? But I love it. Maybe if you're gonna be outside, gotta protect. If you don't There's have UVs. sunscreen, you gotta yeah, you gotta cover up. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, I just I remembered that it made me laugh. Great. And it reminded me of that JCVD movie that I that I've seen. Never heard of it. Um, I would wouldn't expect you to. No. Okay, Paul Lind. I wouldn't expect you to. Studies at the University of Wisconsin show that you'll probably live longer if you love only one man or woman at a time. But it is all right to alternate. <laughs> but he does show off his ass. Of course. Of course. Of course.
Of course. This is the uh, time when we see the aforementioned horse <laughs> Right. Oh, is, are we going to get censored? Is that... <laughs> they think it's okay. We don't show it, neither do they. But one can imagine. Does Mark Spitz believe swimming in the nude helps you go faster? Well, it's easier to stare. <laughs> <laughs> It was like helicoptering. It. She is was. That that, is that what that's called? I believe so. And there was a website Propeller. back in the early days of the internet. Have you told me of this before? Or was there some other joke where this came up? I, I mean, where it was like helicopterdick.com or whatever it was. <laughs> right. And it was just, it would keep spinning. Dick spin. Dickspin.com or something like that. And it would just, and it would count. And it would be a counter. And then it would be like, hi, you watched it 5,000 times. Whoa. Or whatever. It was so stupid. According to the food editor of the Dallas Morning News, What's the best reason for pounding meat? My oh, loneliness. <laughs> Man, the internet used to be so innocent. I know, right? <laughs> uh, but I did notice that Jay Jolie is, in uh, fact, wearing a pink Power Rangers t-shirt. Right. Appreciated it. Yeah. Just wanted to give a little shout uh, out to Amy Jo Johnson. We have not talked about it on camera. Camera? Mm. But I feel like this is a perfect time for an honorable mention of Jennifer Coolidge's fabulous Power Rangers photo shoot. Was so obsessed. Obsessed. Also, like, let's make it happen, though. Right? I would love that. Don't repeat the last movie. No, boring. Let's go back to the the original. Yeah. Oh, man. And they, like, get David Wayne and Michael Showalter yeah. to do a Wet Hot American Summer style. Okay. You know, like, that humor. Sure. It's always fun to get away from camp, even for an hour. We're intercutting you know, raw footage from the 80s of the TV show with, and then now the, you know, the because that's what they did on the right. TV show. Right, right. They, they would just like the fight use the, yeah, footage from or the, whatever. From the, yeah. And then, oh, we cut around it. What? Yeah. Oh my God, oh. So they're fighting over there. Another day and I would have completed my tunnel. Nice work. And it's like a completely different right. like lighting. It's everything, and everything's yeah. About, play it, like lean into it. Sure. Because I was thinking about it, you know, in the 90s, they kept making those TV show movie remakes, right? Like Brady Bunch, Beverly right. Hillbillies. Like, yeah. But they had a funny right. twist on it. It wasn't... Sure, Jan. It wasn't we're making that show into a, a movie, movie now. No. It was we're aaping and joking about why... Why those shows are were, funny to us now because yeah, exactly. they were such a thing. So I'm like, that, I agree. that could be fun. That could be really fun. Right? Yeah. And I'll, obviously, uh, Jennifer Coolidge will... Oh, yes. <laughs> ...be the villain. <laughs> I love it. And everyone's, you know, getting ready and the... Oh, mama. The drama. Uh, let's just say the, the pot is is percolating and yes. stirring already. Yeah. Are you guys competitive against Are each other? Are you jealous of each other? Were you bitter last year? Go on, don't lie. You can tell the <laughs> we truth. We have so many questions. I Billy, is, it, is it difficult? Well, two pots. And it will boil over in untucked. Oh, my God, yeah. I mean, that one's going to bug me. That little one. Oh, yeah. She's already starting to bug. She's kind of irritating. And by kind, I mean she's irritating the out of me. The temperature for this hot tea is just right. Oh, 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 oh this tea oh. is so hot. Oh. Mm, this tea is so hot. Oh, 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 I'm, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm out. Oh, 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 oh. So, quick commercial break, and we'll be back with the main challenge, dumpster couture, or something like that. From dumpster to runway, I don't know. Yeah. Trash, trash to, to flash. Yeah. <laughs> from roaches to red carpet. Sure. I'm trying to think of ours. That's yeah. not a lot. I know I'd go from rags to riches. <laughs> so, RuPaul walks in. I, I didn't write remember. it down. It was, oh, I remember. It was like, um, remember, it's like those party streamers that if you were to like walk through them, oh, like yeah, the long silver shimmery ribbon, yeah, ribbons, yeah, 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 yeah. but like, oh no, it's a dress. Um, Very Y2K. Yes. It was kind of, yeah. Somehow. Somehow. And we got a good wow. Wow. Who knew RuPaul was quoting herself? Right. Wow. 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 Antino is here with Mike Ruiz and Michelle, of course. Michelle looks crazy. <laughs> Sorry. It's just a statement of fact. Um, I miss Santino. Yeah. I miss him. I miss snarky bitches that piled on adjectives after adjectives. 
It looks like you've done your makeup in a lighter shade than your body. If you pulled the head off of one doll and put it on to the body of like a G.I. Joe figure. I miss it. I miss it. Yeah. That's the kind of long story I want to hear. Sure. He's gonna wear somebody else. <laughs> Shut up, Ross. Dahlia Sorry, it was just a reflex. <laughs> it was so it's refreshing. From Michael Kors school. That's where he learned it. It's, it's from Michael Kors. Of course, Kors. of course. Of course. We are at the runway. Yes. It is, I don't know, trash to couture, something. Trashiest red carpet couture. So first up, Roxy Andrews. And I was like, well, this is a little tacky, but that's Roxy. But the more that I looked at it, it was really well done, you know, and like it was well constructed. <laughs> is that so rude? Sorry. It's just, it's really true. True. It uh, made me laugh. Um, you know, she has this shoulder thing. It's very deconstructed VHS tape or something. Sure, like yeah. She looks like the most fashionable VHS tape you've ever seen in ever your seen. life. Uh, something about the way the like color the, scheme and yeah. the reflective nature of it. She had an updo. 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 It, it was Johnny Neutron. It was sure. enormous. Sure. It looked good. It was yeah, enormous. Right, yeah. But next out, Jinx Monsoon as Joanna Worley. Hum. <laughs> Can you hum a few bars? Hum. Sing. If I loved you. I mean, if she had honestly started just going, it was you're very. You're too busy and too beautiful. Mm. Never I know did. you're too busy. I am. That's you're why I'm too beautiful I and too busy. But this was some amalgamation of Joanne Worley and and madam yes, like there was yes. something i mean they have a crossover event anyway like yeah. that venn diagram is already but i didn't really love it but it did remind me of how much i love joanne worley <laughs> so then next is detox i might not be first but, but I'm, I'm definitely, definitely second. second i ain't saying i'm the best but i ain't the worst if rules number one i'm number two it was a sequence um, like magenta. I thought this was really beautiful and yeah. like maybe on the simple-ish side, but I would have put her at least near the top. It was very Gem and the Holograms' sure. evil stepmother. Okay, you know, yeah. it was, uh, she's always got a little bit of Angelica Houston going on, right? You know, so it was just like a little like, uh, but I might be wicked. <laughs> I thought this was great. I thought this color looked beautiful on her. Yeah. I was into it. Yeah. So the next out is I mean, um, in this like red Grecian ish, yeah. like it had like a braided flowing yeah. vibes. Construction on point, I thought. Yeah. When you looked at the details yeah. of like how she like yeah. braided, wove yeah. this things yeah. together, it was, it was like it was like perfectly nice. nice. I liked it. Her her wig was, I mean, <laughs> it looked like she'd just been fucked against a tree. Easy. It was very John and Kate plus eight, K Kate. You know, short in the back. But then the party flat ironed in the front with a little ducktail, oh, and there was like God, highlights. Yeah, yeah. It was atrocious, <laughs> but that's what it looked like. It looked like she put her her John and Kate. I don't know their last name. Her John and Kate plus eight wig on. So the next honey mahogany didn't love this uh, gold tool. I mean, this really just felt like she sort of glued tool to her body in right. different places. Different places. It was safe, sure. but it was not great. She was wearing uh, Kristen Scott Thomas's fabulous 20s um, headpiece oh, from yeah. Under the Cherry Moon. Yes, I love the headpiece. But the, the look was, I couldn't tell you yeah. what it was. But it did remind me of Under the Cherry Moon, which is always a good day. There you go. So next out, Jade Jolie as Miss NBC. Boom, boom, boom. Those things were a mistake. She should have just taken them off. But then it would just be a piece of red sequined fabric that she attached to her body and I guess that's true. Um, made a one poof for her head. Right. It, this was really like, it was like a sequin toga. But her personality. Shown through. Shrown. Shrown. Shrown through. So next was Alyssa Edwards. And I did not care for this, unfortunately. <laughs> um, she, it was all crapped up. She didn't know, have a clear vision. She, she had, had like, the walk. Well, sure. She stomped it. But she also had like a weird flamingo leg, but like, just like fabric on one leg. Oh God. This was like what a person wears to a 1920s party. Okay. And you're like, oh no. <laughs> Don't worry. She thinks that she's very fashion, but she dresses like a Dracula. You did your best. 
Well, you tried. You, she, she, you tried to look like a flapper. Right. Have him did a Jones in Chicago, a little Louise Brooks moment. Well, that we found out later, or an Untucked exclusive, or whatever it was, that she was changed the third into... third piece of hair she was trying to try on. Yeah, because... <laughs> whatever so much but this was crappity crapped up didn't didn't make any sense no. she walked out there with all the confidence in the world that is true and that'll get you through a lot of doors that is true next out penetration this was very um the madam of a brothel sure she was sort of going for may west i feel like that's a real stretch yeah I'll say that yeah she definitely was going for may west she said it i think and like right. they talk about it the, the, the proportionizing was well, yeah, off. The, the, the padding was asymmetrical. It looked like she had a tilted pelvis. If somebody called the osteopath or something. <laughs> she needed like a feather in her hair or a hat or an umbrella or some kind sure. of accessory or some gloves or yeah. something. Yeah. It was just uh, her waist fell. Fell, yeah. Like, oh, sign me up. I want something that's going to look like my waist fell. <laughs> <laughs> and then with the slit in the middle. Right, I agreed um, it should be moved to the side. It Who was, was that that said Camille. that? Oh, right, that's right. Camille. She was there. She was there. Girl, the shade, the shade of it all. This was a dress that she made. Yes, that is true. And put on her body. Yeah. She completed that assignment. Yes, she did. Oh, boy. So next up is Coco Montrese. And at first I was like, oh, no, Coco, this is too much. And then the more that I saw it, the more that I really kind of loved it. I think this was my favorite look of the night. Because, yes, the, the director cone boobs Madonna was, like, stupid and campy. <laughs> but it was stupid and campy. But it was stupid and campy. And everything else was actually really refined. This was, like, very somewhere between singing in the rain and striptease, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And burlesque. And burlesque. Like, I was into it. It yeah. was campy. It was silly. It was referential. She had this little, like, hat on. Yeah. If she took off one of her cone boobs and went, Wagon Wheel Watusi, I would be really into it. Wagon Wheel Watusi. <laughs> Just sticks it back. <laughs> it locks it in. <laughs> Honestly, I think this was my favorite look of the night because it was the most different. It was very different. It had I, the clearest idea and vision that wasn't just pretty outfit. Sure. Next out, Vivian Penney, which was the opposite of Coco. This was a completely forgettable golden halter dress with some gold tulle. Yeah, it was like, I got nothing. Like cool. it was a dress that she made. Okay. Well, there you go. It, did, it wasn't even crapped up. Right. It was just, it was just you have clothing covering your body. It was normal. Yeah. So then next up, Alaska. Uh, I don't, it was a weird way that I said it. I think because were you about to say her last name? Uh, Thunder. Which Thunder. I think we may be allowed to say now. I don't know. Anyway, next up is Alaska. Thunder five. Yeah. <laughs> In this mermaid blue cellophane. At first I was kind of like, well, I don't know, girl. We already saw you do like a trash bag look. But at the same time, the silhouette of this did really work. It really worked. It really worked under the lights. Yes. It really popped on yeah, the stage. it did. And the simple just little poop in her big hair and carrying the trash bag. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. This also is iconic to me. I always like a unconventional materials challenge where you well, can, you know. And it embraced it. If the idea is take trash and make it red carpet ready, this is. that You nailed it. Yeah. Next out, Lanisha Sparks oh. in the talk about embracing the unconventional materials. Oh my this gosh. wallpaper, like fanned. This was my favorite look. Tiered. Yep. Structured wedding, gown. Wedding this cake is a gown. Gowned. Gowned. With the shoe in her updo. 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 Yes. I mean, yes. The yeah. details were there. Yeah. It was yeah. so fabulous. I was so into this. I thought it was absolutely stunning. The way she painted the edges and, and like really built depth and mm -hmm. detail and structure and polish. It was glamorous. It was an unconventional material. Like, well, wallpaper is not easy to work with. No, you know? not at all. And the fact that she made it disappear and you wouldn't have ever known it was not wallpaper. Not really, yeah. And it, really. it fit her shape beautifully. Yeah, and yeah. I think maybe like 5% she went a little overdue on the, the or, or too much on the black spray paint. Maybe like, a little. Maybe if it had been gold. Mm, you know, I don't yeah. know. Is the tiniest note. Sure. You know, but that might have. Maybe they didn't have gold. You know, that's that's fair. That's fair. But this was amazing. Yes. Next down the runway, Monica Beverly Hills with a Z. With a Z. Like a bra top and shorts and a little 
a little like bolero jacket. Um, it all fit. Okay. I don't really remember this, to be honest. This was your classic in an 80s movie, and I'm a hooker in the background. Great. I mean, that's just what it was. Like, it was, she was a streetwalker as an extra in an 80s movie. Great. I mean, it all fit nicely. Like, if she tailored those shorts, they fit. It looked okay. Great. Oh, I remember the shorts, because I remember being like, wow, she made the shorts. Huh, yeah, okay, wow, cool. okay. Bedazzled a bra. I don't know. I don't really know what... And then we find out in Untucked later, she, she was really having doubts about what she was making. And, right. You know, she was yeah. kind of having a moment. So I don't know what happened from, you know. Planning to <laughs> whatever. execution. Um, it seemed a little bit like close. Sure. So then next is Serena Cha-Cha and then this Yodelehi Hu leader Hosen, like, I don't even know. This was a mess. This is also iconic. Sure. For being awful. <laughs> The very unnerving clown collar. Right. With the makeup that's a yeah. different shade. So it looks like it's returned to Oz and she's going to take off her head and put on a new one. Yeah. I was scared. What do you think? And the makeup was a mess, and the hair was a mess, and the later hose in Pinocchio. Oh! oh. Save yourself! Pinocchio! Iconically bad. <laughs> so, Roxy wins. I was a little surprised just because I thought that it should have been Lanesha, but... Um, yeah, I think because she worked with a harder material and made it disappear. Yes. I probably would have given it to Lanisha. Yeah, and it just, for me, was... Or honestly, Coco. I mean, honestly. I, mean, I, I really did like it. Because it was something know. different and fun and whatever. I, you know, I don't know, whatever. It, it was doesn't a complete matter, look, but... head to toe. Yeah. Uh, but but Lanisha definitely thought that she was going to win. Oh, yes, she did. And I was like, yeah, girl. Oh, no. She was PS. You do not get the set of... Gowns? It was a dress. It was a dress. It was a dress. You received a custom gown by Marco Marco. But anyway, yes, uh, Serena Cha Cha and Penetration are in the bottom. They have to lip sync to Party in the USA. I, I, I didn't write anything down. I Serena on, did the splits. She did do the splits. Penetration didn't know the words. That is true. The song ended, Penetration was at home. Yeah, I mean, if it wasn't the first episode, I would say it easily could have been a double elimination for me because it was a pretty lackluster lip sync. Penny goes home. Uh, Rue seemed to hate her. Yeah. Uh, she seemed upset that she had won. Well, you know, you were very enterprising in your campaigning to get here. Campaigning yeah. to win the fan vote. Like, there was a lot of stuff. Seething yeah. undercurrents going on uh -huh. in that I forgot like, about oh. all of that. There was this whole thing of like, oh, you, Mimi, I'm first, voted number third in the voting. I could not believe it. it was RuPaul saying this to Penetration. Mimi, I'm first, was number third in the voting. I could not believe it. Out of all Do 50 bitches. Do not attack bitches, my fans, bitch. How did you manage that? Because they need someone to go home first. Because we didn't really talk about how, so Penetration was the fan pick right, at the time. Right, for the 14th queen, I guess. Right. I don't remember that being a thing. I don't remember that being a thing, apparently it was, but um, RuPaul sent her packing. Yeah. So, quick motion break, and we'll be back with Untucked. <gasps> Love it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura Linney. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura Linney. This is Masterpiece Theater. <laughs> the book pages and everything. I miss when the, they would do... Because reading is fundamental. Themes. Yeah. Sure. Specific to, right, you to, know. Right, to this season's... Ep like, this, this is what season, to expect. My Queens... I don't know, like, it set the tone that, like, this is a show. Don't yep. take it personally, right? Right, like, right. Like, this week, we join... It's very, you know, Attenborough of it all. Right. This week, the girls are talking about this in the gold yeah. bar. Inspire you. Never have we been closer. May we never be farther apart. Humor you. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Silver Lounge, yeah, it's true. As well as move you. <laughs> That's who God made you to be. <laughs> but yes, the safe queens are in the back. They've faked out Coco, uh, convincing her that Serena Cha Cha is, is literally sniffing panties. Oh my God, that's right. Panty sniffing when we're in the geese. Oh, you call her in your panties? <laughs> no, not like, oh, not girl, literally, girl. girl. I, I knew she was a clown fucker <laughs> from the jump. <laughs> I knew she was a clown from the jump. So good. <laughs> Hashtag clown fucker. <laughs> no, it didn't say that. It didn't. I wish, I it, wish did. it did. Uh, we'll put it right here. Yeah. <laughs> 
I also really missed, like, I forgot how iconic the drag queens drinking out of straws of Untucked was. <laughs> you know, it's great. And the, the sound effects. Yes, lots of slurping that I'm sure didn't exist. But, oh, no! You know, it, it, makes, it makes for those moments. You know, it's very... <laughs> yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. And it's funny where I was realizing that like in the production of the show has changed so much where it's like there was so much drama that was like inconsequential because it didn't really matter because it was manufactured just often in the editing. Right. Where it was just like, and then she was looking that way and it, we made it seem like she's staring daggers at her. But it's also obvious yes. what they're doing and therefore funny. Exactly, exactly. It's also stupid and fun where it's just like, what? There's just ah! one big man arm attached to this beautiful woman. Oh. oh everyone's commenting and oh, we get to ooh, look at this one and look at that one and whatever. And Coco's photo was probably the worst photo I've ever seen in my entire life and I want to gouge my eyes out. Is that too much? <laughs> Coco's photo was the worst photo probably encountered in my entire career. I just want to scratch my eyes out. Is that too much? So much drama. <laughs> yes. For capital D. <laughs> that is straight up dead prostitute in the Hudson <laughs> River. I love a big pink furry box. It really just, you know, it's a, I guess that wasn't related to, oh no, that had the card that said, let's look at, look at your TV. pictures. Yeah, yeah, that was stupid. But whatever, it was the prompt that More we needed. More stupid things, be stupid. Yep. Like Michelle always says, don't be worried about looking stupid. That's true. I'm telling that to you, show. Yeah. Oh, what an opportune time for me to walk in. So I'm mediocre. Two rooms. Two rooms. Two rooms, man. The two rooms. Uh, so yeah, all the queens are together then, and and the um, sort of theory, the running theory that Alyssa was um, oh right, had stealing from wandering people. eyes about yeah. design choices. Oh, she picked and feathers, then you picked feathers. She made a hat, then you, you made, made a hat. She had tall hair, then you tried on tall hair. She made a ruffle, and you got a ruffle. I mean, it was like. <laughs> Yes. The Nancy Drew of drag? I don't really know. I'm taking ideas from lots of other people and using them for yourself. This is garbage. Yeah. Mama. Mama, this is garbage. This is garbage. No tea, no shade. Mama, this is garbage. Oh. Right here. No tea, no shade. All, all tea, all shade. All shade. All tea, tea, all, all shade. shade. I mean, Hashtag all tea, all shade. I miss it. Untucked was great. Great. Can't wait for next week. Oh my God, don't try it, little boy. <laughs> don't be coming in here trying to get <laughs> when We're trying to get a crown, God damn it. Oh my gosh, can't yeah. wait for this season to continue. Cheers to season five. Yes. Very excited to revisit. Absolutely. Make sure to subscribe. It's a little late at this point if you've watched the whole way through. I, but you know. Uh, make sure. Turn that bell on. I'm gonna get Get down there, do it. Uh, come join us on Patreon for viewing parties, for early access, yes. no ads. It'll be great. It's gonna be great. Yeah, cheers. Cheers! Ooh. I knew she was a clown from the jump.